It is no oh, you might notice that there's something up. There are two additional screens on this stage, and that is because we're going to play a game called Soap or Nope. <laughs> What I need to play this game is quite simply someone who is a soap opera fanatic. Can you just raise your hand if you feel confident about your knowledge of soap opera? Let's have a look. What's going on? Oh, there's somebody over there who seems very keen, being nominated by her husband. She looks very grumpy about the prospect. <laughs> All right, let's go and see. Not a soap fan? No. No? OK. It sounds like I'm being really rude to people. <laughs> Not a soap fan? <laughs> Not a fan of soap yourself? <laughs> yeah! What's going on here? What, what's happening? You're holding hands? <laughs> are, you, are you a soap fan? Yeah. My nana is. Oh, nana is. What's your name, nana? Doreen. Doreen? Yeah. What soaps do you enjoy? Um, I like Emmerdale. Uh, Coronation down. Street. Tori. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. EastEnders? Now and again, yeah. <laughs> Not such a fan. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just bear in mind, Doreen, this is a BBC television <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we'll ask that again. So your favourite show, EastEnders? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we might have found our family. Doreen, are you up for playing Soap or Nope? Go on, yeah. then. All right, Joy, if I could just ask you to stand up, please, for me. Um, I will explain the plan on Soap or Nope. Let's find out a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Killam in Drifield, near Bridlington. Lovely. Ooh. Three different places I've yeah. never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thank you for coming. I'm going to explain the rules to you. On this stage is the Soap or Nope set. <laughs> we are going to release human beings on a conveyor belt. <laughs> they're going to pop out on the left and they're going to slowly make their way across the stage. Some of them will be soap stars, hence the soap, and some of them will not. Those will be the nope. Let me just briefly demonstrate to you how this is going to work. So, basically, Doreen, you will be focusing and you have until the end of the conveyor belt to guess whether the person is soap or nope. <laughs> You get that, Doreen? And, of course, the audience are here to help you. And there might be prizes and surprises, OK? <laughs> so, Doreen, in order to play this game, I'm going to have to get your own microphone and mic you up. Is that OK, Doreen? You up for that? Fantastic. All right, so let's have a huge hand for Doreen. This lovely lady here is going to take you and get you mic'd up. Doreen, everyone! <laughs> OK. When Doreen returns, she will be mic'd up so we can hear her play Soap or Nope. But there will be a big plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of Soap or Nope, the last person who comes out is going to be a lady called Gwen. Gwen is Doreen's best friend in the world. They've been pen pals for 70 years. <laughs> but they have never, ever met each other. Oh. Gwen has been flown over from Australia to be here tonight. <laughs> and Doreen has no idea. This is a very emotional moment. So tell us about Doreen and Gwen. Um, well, they've been pen pals for 70 years. Um, they've gone through Second World War. At births, deaths, marriages, they wrote to each other every couple of weeks. And it's their 80th birthday coming up at the end of the month, so I wanted to do something really special on behalf of the family. Oh. Oh. And this is Dorian's husband, <laughs> Roy. Yeah. How, do you think, how do you think she's going to react? Do you think she um, must recognise her, obviously? <laughs> she won't believe it. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a wonderful surprise yeah. for her. But obviously yeah. nobody gives the game away. Yeah. First we'll play Soap or Nope, and then... Gwen will come out at the end. And hopefully it'll all work and she'll recognise Gwen and we'll have a lovely moment. There's a small chance she'll just go, soap, and then it just, <laughs> and then it just goes off and we go, awkward! Uh, <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, you're all in on this. So no giving it away. Let's get it back. <laughs> all right!
welcome back. This is going to be fun. OK, so if I could ask you to stand, yeah. the audience can help you. So, let's play Soap or No? <laughs> what do you say, Dorian? So... <laughs> yes! Sean Williamson, of course, Barry Evans from EastEnders! She got that right! Well done. Well done, Dorian. OK, let's go with our second one, please. Soap or nope? Ooh, what do we think about this one, Dory? Soap or nope? What do we think, audience? No. No. That lady's name is Emmerdale. <laughs> Let's go again, please. Soap or nope? Ooh, what do we think of this? What do we think? <laughs> what, what are you saying? What are you saying? Say soap. She's gone no, soap. No. That is the correct answer! That is Maisie Smith, who yeah. played Tiffany Butcher yeah. in EastEnders. Yeah. Yeah. Did you recognise Maisie yeah. all grown up? No. Sensational. I didn't know, actually. You didn't know. All right. No. <laughs> well, you've got the Midas touch. You are on a roll. <laughs> Let's go again. Soap or nope? Uh, Whoa, this is very exciting. Oh, yeah, definitely soap. Definitely soap. Yes, of course. Yeah. It's Roxanne Pallet, Joe Stars in Emmerdale. All right, Doreen, next up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. she's got a soap. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. That oh, it looked like is a cat soap. moon look-alike. Oh. Yeah. She's actually called Stephanie Kramer. Never heard of her. <laughs> Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's because she was a no, Doreen. <laughs> OK, let's play again, please. What do we think? Oh, so, no, nope. nope, I don't know. Nope, she's gone nope, and that is the correct answer. It's Gail yeah. Witherplatt. She's a student professor. <laughs> you love that, guys. <laughs> you are doing so spectacularly well at soap or nope. <laughs> Only fooled by the lookalike. <laughs> All right, soap or nope for the last one. Oh, definitely soap. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> Let's go and have a closer oh, look. No, I've seen the face before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have a closer look, Dory. Oh. oh. Definitely so. Oh. oh, I know it is. <laughs> it's my pen pal in Australia. Gwen. Seventy-one years you've been writing to her, yeah, yeah. and and you've never met until this day. No, no, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> Such a wonderful moment. How are you feeling, Gwen? I don't know. I'm very emotional. I think. <laughs> very emotional. After all this time, seventy-one years. years. I was a nine-year-old at school. They asked if I wanted a pen pal. Nine years. And I said oh. yes when I was a nine-year-old. Yeah. And you've stayed in touch yeah. all this time. Yeah. yeah. And after all this time, yeah. you thought she was a, a soap star. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, you thought, oh, she's from Neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. unbelievable. That's lovely. lovely. How, does it feel so meet, meet, how does it feel meeting her now, though? Oh, absolutely brilliant. So excited. All right. That's great. Well, listen. <laughs> It's been wonderful for all of us to witness this, and even more wonderful because we didn't know how this was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> and, when you, and when you just went, definitely self. <laughs> <laughs> Such a wonderful 
this moment. Um, your family is so pleased. Your husband is just over the moon to give you this moment. And you're going to head now to our Royal Box and watch the rest of the show together. You've got a lot to talk about and catch up on. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful credit story. What about that? It's amazing. What a lovely moment. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Credit story!